Hello, my name is Hiram Algren, and today I want to give you a little bit of information on who I am. I'm the president of two financial companies making seven figures per year, and we're also working on a lot of non-for-profit organizations out there to help out people. But one of the things that I want to mention here to you today is that you need to invite people to your mindset, invite people to your home. We're going to cover that. We're going to talk about that later on. But I'm a son of a migrant family, migrant parents that work their tails off in the little old Bronx. The most important reason why I'm telling you this is because my parents build relationships. They build bridges. They own restaurants and catering companies. But one of the main focus was on their employees, who they are, how they knew who they are. They would invite them to their homes. They would make them believe in their visions, believe in their goals. And all this time, my parents, even though they didn't have a big education, they understood relationship building. As I started these companies out, one of the things that I want to make sure that I focused on was building these relationships. These relationships with your employees are not based off how many times you go out with them at night or how many times that you have to sit with them and try to do things that are overwhelming. But it's all about one thing that we call inertia. Inertia is the power to be able to create a relationship so that they share the same visions that you share, the same goals that you share. So what we call the mind here, and when we started these companies, we started really, really realizing how can we keep employees, that retention, that they connect with you. We started really focusing on letting them in to our house. Our house is our, is our mind and our hearts. How we share these things with them will have them interact and really go to bat for you when they're interacting with an end user or a client. And this is a really big focus, and the reason why is because it really eliminates the coffee clutches and the water cooler station gossip. Our employees, anything that happens, they take full ownership. So as they continue to move on with this company, by us sharing our visions, it is something that they can really move on and continue taking your company and a tremendous growth. We started with only three employees. These three employees, we were able to let them in our house so that they can realize that there's a bigger picture than just support. And, and, and user experience, or even somebody that just had an entry-level job. We taught them everything that they needed to know from the bottom of the company to the top position executive parts of the company. We broke everything down for them. We let them know and let them understand what is finance, what is lending. So I want to share this with you because we are in the lending space. If you've ever done any interaction with any credit union, they make you a member. It doesn't matter if you have millions of dollars in the bank account, or it doesn't matter if you just started out with just $5 in that checking account. They make you a member and they make you feel that you are big and powerful. And that is the same thing when it comes down to the workforce. We were able to transfer that same style of membership because everybody wants to be a part of something. In colleges, we want to be in fraternities. In certain sports groups, we want to be associated representing our cities and states and where are these big NFL or big NBA teams are from. People want to be a part of something. Your employees want to be a part of something. But the moment that you put your defense mechanism to not train and teach them on what your house is thinking, it's the moment that you find that now people are thinking that there's grass is greener on the other side. So what we found is that in a matter of six months, when we started with three employees, we then moved up to 12. We never put any type of job offering on any of these big platforms because it was all referral based. We started finding out that our, 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 our teams and our employees wanted to work longer. They wanted to commit to Saturday hours when we were only working from nine to five, Monday through Friday. We were finding people that were really dedicated and all for the simple reason that we let them in our house. The point is, a lot of times we find employees that are disgruntled because they think that their job their work environment is toxic. Change that around. Let them in your house. The more that they can share that vision, that go, that fire, they will go to bat for you and make sure that you and your company is succeeding. So with that being said, do not hesitate. As a CEO in the making, or even a CEO operating seven-figure businesses, let them in your house.